Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. The Sunday Book Review for September 15th, 2019. First up, VC by Thomas Howard. This incisive history of venture capital industry frames it as a distinctly American innovation and identifies its earliest precursor as the 19th century whaling industry in New England. The unpredictable and hazardous trade financed by investors who backed most voyages. Most were expected to fail in the hope that the small subset would yield outsized returns. Today, a similarly skewed distribution of payoffs defines defines speculation in Silicon Valley. The American appetite for risk fueled by the rise of venture capital, along with such factors as access to highly skilled immigrants and the central role of the federal government, beginning with the commercialization of military innovations after World War II. Next up, Pleasure Palaces by Lee Jackson. When the first gin palaces began to appear in London in the 1820s, the public was dazzled by the Corinthian columns, mahogany counters, and gas lighting. But as Jackson shows in this engaging history, not everyone was pleased. Unlike the homely pub, these places lent drinking a veneer of refinement and blurred social boundaries, offering working class access to a kind of space and experience previously reserved for the wealthy. This fascination, fascinating history shows how the new ventures flourished, along with music halls, seaside resorts, and thanks to a growing middle class and favorable legislation and shifting morals. Yes, even in England. Wildly popular, albeit due to the chagrin of Victorian moralists, these temples commercialized pleasure ushered in the era of mass entertainment. Next up, and in a fiction offering today, uh, I found an extraordinarily interesting book called The Memory Police, uh, tr- written by Yoko Ogawawa. Sorry, I b- uh, butchered that, and translated from the original Japanese by Stephen Schneider. The narrative of this unsettling novel is a writer living on an island where things have disappeared mysteriously for years. Initially, incidental items such as emeralds, perfume, and hats, and then more important ones. When things vanish, most of the island's inhabitants lose all recollection of them, and those who don't disappear with them at the hands of a shadowy memory police. As the community withers, the narrator, living alone in her childhood home, struggles to record the losses in stories. She depicts a world in which forgetting is the key to survival, but it's a survival that comes with a price of the erosion of self, certainly applicable to life in the era of Trump land. Finally, our last offering is a very interesting book entitled The The Art of Statistics. And then this Dr. Steven Spiegelhalter uh, is tasked with ensuring public inquiry to establish whether the morality of certain statistical analysis are within the number and adequacy of an inquiry. It's a fascinating look into not only the philosophy of statistics, but the history of statistics and how this has been engaged throughout the ages. For statistics, for all its limitations, has a profound role to play in the social realm. And this book concludes that if such a monitoring system had been placed years ago, such uh, statistical analysis might help in a wide variety of mechanisms. It's certainly a good place to start, and I think for every compliance practitioner, should consider reading this book as I think it will give you some great insights into how you can utilize statistics and data in your compliance program to help make your business processes in your company more efficient and your company more profitable at the end of the day. For almost every compliance solution is going to generate data which is not being utilized currently by your corporation. Hope you've enjoyed these selections. Volkoff and I are back for another episode of Why a Duck, where we take a deep dive into the antitrust division, new corporate compliance program. Check it out.